Alrighty, hello again people and welcome to another video where today I'm going to be showing you another build that I have made. Now pretty much this build I'm calling the Usain Bolt build because very fast, very very fast. It's got a good attack speed, good agility, a little bit of intensity and a little bit of power. Now pretty much this build is the maximum agility build that you could get. And before I show you what this build can do, first off, I'm going to quickly show you the setup for this build. Now, pretty much you've got to get Cape of Ravenna Loyalty, Ravenna Noble Armor, Ravenna Noble Boots, a fair agility amulet, and a large green, well, any jacket, so a large jacket. So pretty much you need agile on all of these, and then make sure that you equip on some speed jewels, agility jewels. So what I've got going at the moment is I've got all Lapis Lazuli jewels and I've got them all imbued with swim speed using Storm Salt. So right now I've got a very fast swim speed as well. So if I quickly show you, it's not the fastest swim speed that you can get, but it is pretty good. I could see I could swim from Ravenna all the way over to Sailor's Lodge in one go. Now this build was an absolute pain to make because uh, obviously with some of these items uh, these are both dropped from uh, Lord Elias and he's a bit of a pain to actually defeat mainly just because of how fast teleporting he is. Uh, obviously you got the Cape Ravenna, Ravenna Loyalty which is pretty easy to get, killing Argos isn't that difficult. Uh, you just get these from chests randomly and then same with the uh, jackets but it's the Agile Scrolls and the actual gems that you need to get that are the biggest issue. Lapis Lazuli, you could just fish up. I've done a lot of fishing, as you can see from my fishing stat, 5,228, so I was able to do it pretty easily. And I go on a lot of expeditions, so I get a lot of Storm Salts. So pretty much this is what the build could do. You could jump incredible distances and very high <laughs> leaping uh, so that's a t jump so bang right up into the air and then you go so high up you could do two quick little dodges there bang bang and as you can see it is a very quick build you're very fast moving you can jump between large distances and the best part about this build is the fact that when you go into the dark sea it makes it a lot easier to explore the Dark Sea Islands because a lot of Dark Sea Islands are either pretty tall or they could just be really large uh, due to the random uh, procedural generation of the islands. So this is one of the best builds to explore the Dark Sea with. You just got to be a little bit careful around the Atlanteans because they will do a lot of damage and you do not have a lot of health. So it is a little bit dangerous to fight them. Obviously, you can keep range with a siren bow. And with this build, if they start coming towards you, all you need to do is just dodge back and they will not be able to catch up. So it is very good. Or you could just jump. They cannot actually jump that high. They can't catch up with you. Uh, just make sure that you don't get caught in end lag if you try to go for like a move in the air because they will try and catch you out for end lag. Uh, but... That is pretty much the build. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how good this build is by traveling from Tiberia all the way over to the other side of Ravenna, over to Razna. Now, this is going to show you exactly how good this build is. All you need to do is one jump. You can obviously just jump up this wall. It does take a little bit of a long time to get that wall, so let's just come back down. Bang. Straight up. Bang. So it is a very dexterous build. You can easily get from one side of Ravenna all the way to the other side of Ravenna in seconds. And along with the swim speed that I've got on the jewels, obviously if you want to go for a higher swim speed and you don't want to go for as high of agility, you could always use Muscovites. But as you can see, I'll jump into the water here and I can literally just swim all the way over the Sailor's Lodge, which I'll hopefully uh, be able to reach here or else it's going to be a little bit embarrassing. Uh, I don't know if I'm swimming in the right direction because I can't really see Sailor's Lodge, but I think I'm swimming in the right direction. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. 
So we might end up stopping just before Sailor's Lodge, but as you can see, we're pretty much there. So it is really good swim speed. And this build is very good for people who aren't very good at PVP like myself, because obviously you always have the chance of getting ganked. It's really annoying. And like yesterday, I lost myself. Uh, let's think, I think about 15 Dark Seal chests because some random guy just decided to kill me. So it was very annoying. I don't know why he did it, but it's just, yeah. But I'm very weak in terms of PVP, so I can't really do much about that. What is that wave? <laughs> but yeah, uh, when it comes to actually PVPing, I'm not very good. That is why I much preferred this build because I'm able to escape really easily because all I need to do is just somebody starts attacking me and I can literally just bang, jump away from them, jump higher than them. And I'm just in general faster than them, especially when I'm swimming. We're going to make it. We made it. There we go. All right. As we can see, if I go over to one of the lower level Ravenna in signs, if I shoot him, I'm still doing 115 damage and still have a decent shooting speed, which is really good in terms of actually dealing some significant damage to things. So you can still take on uh, Lanteans, you can still take on people. Uh, however, I wouldn't really recommend taking on people with this build. Low health means you're going to die a lot quicker. And if it's an experienced PvPer, you are going to struggle. So that's all from me. Uh, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, all agile. You got the Ravenna Cape of Loyalty, the uh, Ravenna Noble Boots and the Ravenna Noble Armor, a fair agility amulet and a large jacket or a large cloak. Those are the items that you need, all with Agile on them, using the Agile scrolls that you get from Dark Chess, all equipped with Agility Jewels, so that could be Lapis Lazuli, there's a ton of different uh, Agility Jewels. And this is one of my favourite builds at the moment. Like I am very inexperienced with PvP and it is a great thing for me. Uh, I will be doing another video soon, so that's going to be going over either the max attack speed build or the max attack size build. Now, I think it might be the max attack size build because I've got some clips ready for that one, so I might as well do it on that and then the max attack speed build. But if you enjoyed this one, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment down below what you want to see next. Obviously, we're going to be doing the uh, max attack size build, so I will be doing that one, but anything else you want to see, just give me a comment and I'll have a look. Uh, I am going to be trying to make a max knockback build, but I'm going to need a lot of aeroplasts. So if you've got a lot of aeroplasts, uh, put down in the comments. I'll try and join on your uh, server in Arcane Odyssey and I'll uh, trade you for them because I need quite a lot. I need 55. But yeah, that's all from me. Cheers for watching. And I'll see you in the next one in a bit.